Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning, February 22nd, and I have awakened this morning with what I like to call the Irish grandpa. When I was growing up, my mom was a Higgins. Her maiden name was Higgins, and she used to always say, Terry, your mother's family was Irish. Your father's family wasn't. I said, oh, so you're Irish and dad's not. What does that make me? And she said, ungrateful. Hmm. Okay, so uh, my mom was at Higgins, and uh, my grandfather was Logan Higgins, who I don't remember that well. He passed away in the very early 1970s. But uh, my mom used to make my dad speak with an Irish accent, and he hated that because he wasn't very good at it. I'll try, Catherine, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. I sound Scottish. I don't sound Irish at all. And she said, oh, shut up. You use your Irish road. So uh, my dad would often call me in and say, son, you're a better professional like your father and your grandfather before you. We Hargroves and Higginses have been paraprofessionals for thousands of years. In fact, one of your greatest ancestors used to work for the Pharaoh, the young Pharaoh. Yes, he was his, he was his paraprofessional, helping him with his math. And that's why it's the only Pharaoh who knew how to count the base 10, the base 9, the base 8, the base 7. Because every time he asked Mr. Question, they took off one of your ancestors' fingers, you see. So you count them base 10, base 9, base 8, base 7. And then they went to history. Okay, so... Uh, Anyway, because my dad was a paraprofessional like me, which he wasn't, I'm just making all this up, uh, he would uh, very often yell at my brother and I using obscure uh, terms that he picked up in high school. We don't do it. It would be like, uh, uh, like uh, hey, uh, Terry, why are you cutting the grass so poorly? Uh, aren't you going to azimuth, boy? And he'd look at my brother and say, you need to pick up that trash. What are you being so bicameral for? We didn't understand what any of that meant. Uh, but uh, Grandpa, Grandpa Higgins, he used to be a professional. He always carried a bag of cats around with him because uh, he felt like the best way to get tough was to take a cat off the street and make it mean. So he would take his hands and put it on the cat's head and the cat would just go nuts and, and arr, 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 arr. He'd say, hey, hey, you're a, you're a furious, furious little kitty that you are. Arr, arr. That's what he did for, for like a hobby. Um, there's a point to all this in that uh, my my grandfather was, he was very, he loved the movies and uh, the thing about the movies was he, he would look for mistakes in the movies. And I can remember once going to the movies within the 1960s, it was a Tarzan movie, and Cheetah was eating a coconut. And my grandpa stood up and he said, Hey, what's going on here? Everybody knows the coconut doesn't grow in deepest, darkest Africa. The coconut is from, is from the, the Polynesian areas on the Indian Ocean, not Africa. And somebody yelled at him, Shut up, old man. Sit down, old man. And my dad Granddad reached into his bag, started throwing cats at people. He said, take that, take that, take that, I'll teach you to yell at your betters. So, if you wake up with an Irish grandpa, you're going to need some cats. <laughs> Sometimes I amuse myself. If you wake up with an Irish grandpa, don't forget your bag of cats, because you're going to need them today. All right. Uh, hey, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we're heading up to... to uh, we almost finished two months of morning hair. Remember, we're going to do one for every morning of 2017. All right, so thanks a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't forget your, <laughs> Don't forget your cats. <laughs>